Hi guys, my name's Jake, and today I'll be reviewing Infamous First Light. First Light is a standalone DLC for Infamous Second Son, and focuses on Abigail Walker, or Fetch, and her story leading up to the events of Second Son. You play as Fetch, two years prior to the events of Second Son, as you relive events from her past. The story is told via flashbacks as Fetch explains her story to Augustine. The story segments are broken up each time Fetch acquires a new power. You are then required to show off this power to Augustine in arena based battle missions. This was a nice way to keep the gameplay fresh and I thought it was very welcomed. Although you don't need to have played Second Son to play this game, I highly recommend it as it's the only way to get the most out of the game. What was left of our boat? That's where I met him. He was looking for Brent too. One of the best things about Infamous and Sucker Punch games in general are the cutscenes, and these ones are absolutely gorgeous. Although the story is far from lighthearted, I really liked how they incorporated bright neon colors in the cutscenes. Cockroach. The evil looks just never stop. But then we got our first taste. <laughs> Damn. Being a cockroach wasn't so bad. But to keep that feeling, we do anything. Seattle is as gorgeous as you would remember it. As I was traveling the city using the neon dash, I stumbled across familiar street signs, buildings, and playgrounds. Collecting is so addictive. Scattered around Seattle are lumens. These are what you use to power up Fetch's abilities. Within the first hour or two of gameplay, I think I'd pretty much collected all of these. If you like collecting, First Light does a good job at distracting you from the main missions. Of course, not all of them are lying around just waiting for you to collect them. Some of them require you to chase them as you race through the streets of Seattle. You luscious neon fatty. I'm meeting you whole. Woo! Lumens and Lumen races aren't the only way to acquire points to upgrade Fetch's abilities. There are also neon graffiti challenges scattered around Seattle. These are pretty much the exact same as the spray paint challenges from Second Sun, and some of them look amazing. Being a DLC, you could probably finish this game in 3-4 to four hours. And you might get a little more out of it if you want to go for the Platinum. That being said, I was invested in the story as much as I was in Second Son. Fetch was an interesting character and I really enjoyed getting to know her story. Personally, I didn't find anything wrong with Second Son, although during a mission my HUD completely disappeared. Although, this was a minor setback and didn't tarnish my experience with the game at all. If you've played Second Son and you're a fan of Infamous, I definitely recommend picking this up. Anyway, that's my review of Infamous First Light. If you're interested in picking up this game, there should be links in the description to take you to the purchase page. Until my next review, enjoy your power.